So today, I am going to be showing you guys what I think is the best center build on NBA 2K23. Let's get started. This build unlocks every single contact dunk package in the game while also having an 83 three-pointer, which means you could definitely still shoot from outside while still being a menace when driving to the basket. I'm going to be showing two versions of this build today. One version where I recommend that you use if you actually have a team of people that you play with, and a second version that I recommend that you use if you only run with random. I spent a lot of time in the builder figuring out what's the best height to get the most badges that you need at tier two and tier one so that you don't have to spend as many badge points so i think i figured out the perfect height and i think i figured out this perfect build so not only am i going to be giving you guys two of the best big man builds in the game i'm also going to be showing you guys all of the animations that i use on this build plus the jump shot you don't want to miss that that's going to be at the end of the video but let's get started all right so when making this build and this is the first version of the build that's going to have way less playmaking so you got to make sure you have good teammates when using this version of the build height six foot eleven six foot eleven is the minimum minimum height that you can go with while still getting gold posterizer which is essential this year because at every other height underneath six foot eleven posterizer is a tier three badge which means you have to spend 10 badge points on other things before you can even touch posterizer but on this build get posterizer as a tier two badge and you practically get it by default i made a rebirth of this build and i already have posterizer didn't grind at all it came by default along with silver limitless takeoff so i'm already dunking like crazy on this build weight 234 pounds okay you need 234 pounds on the weight so you can get an 86 strength 86 strength is what you need for gold brick wall this year so if you're a team that runs pick and roll you need that 86 strength so you can get gold brick wall and brick wall is also going to help you from stopping post scores seven foot seven wingspan is a sweet spot between the minimum and the maximum and you kind of get the best of both worlds when it comes to finishing and shooting when you do this wingspan because this allows you to get the 93 driving dunk which gets you posterizer on gold as well as the elite contact dunks and then you can also get the 83 three-pointer which gets you hall of fame space creator now listen i know that doesn't sound like a big man badge but i'm telling you if you watched me on this channel i hit crazy step backs with an 83 three-pointer while having hall of fame space creator Space creator activates like on step backs like crazy this year so it's a very important badge to have because shot creating is something you can definitely do on this build body shape i had to go with the finder build but i went with the fine so when it comes to making this build max out the driving dunk to a 93 that's gonna get you all the contact dunks plus gold posterizer close shot on this build is only gonna go up to an 80 it's not gonna be a crazy paint master type of build it's a pick and roll type of build be able to hit contact dunks like crazy but as for just standing under the paint and spamming close shots this is not that type of build standing dunk this is gonna go up to a 75 now you're probably asking why a 75 specifically because 75 standing dunk allows you to unlock the Giannis Antetokounmpo while also getting the Carl Anthony Towns dunk package now those two dunk packages are insane on big men because you can get insane takeoff flight animations with those two dunk packages so make sure you have that 75 standing dunk so you can unlock those dunk packages. moving on to the shooting max out the three-pointer this is going to get you space creator on hall of fame and like I said it's actually a very nice badge to have if you need to be able to get a bucket last second and for some reason the ball is in your hands mid-range shot kick that up to a 70 that's going to get you one extra shooting badge. So now you have 17 shooting badges. Free throw. We're going to kick this up to a 70. I feel like that's a sweet spot this year. All right. So now for the playmaking. Now playmaking. Like I said, this is going to be a version of the build that doesn't have as much playmaking. It's just going to have some pass accuracy because this build is a build I recommend you use with teammates. I'll show you another version afterwards that you can definitely run with randoms because you can dribble and speed boost pretty fast, actually. But this is a version that you should use with teammates. So pass accuracy. We're going to kick this up to a 70. This is basically where silver bullet passer was last year. I've played with the 70 pass accuracy. I think it's just enough to consistently pass on this type of build. If you want to go up to an 80 or an 85, you can, but just remember you're going to have to sacrifice things in other categories, which I don't think you want to do. So that's it for playmaking and understand, you know, ball handle, you're not going to get too high. You can't get unpluckable, but let's realize unpluckable on this type of build is a tier three badge. So you would have to put at least 15 badge points into this build to actually get unpluckable, to even touch unpluckable. And I just don't even think that's worth it. And that's unpluckable on bronze you need 17 badges if you want to get unpluckable on gold and i don't think it's worth spending that much just to get it on bronze or to try and get it on gold you're just gonna be sacrificing way too much the physicals right here stamina to a 95 vertical we actually have to put up to an 82 this year this is what you need to get all the contact dunk packages strength is going to go up to an 86 this is what's going to get you gold brick wall which is essential to have this year especially if you're a team that runs a lot of pick and roll speed max out leave the acceleration where it's at and then coming down here to the defense the defensive rebound is going to be a 93 this is going to get you gold rebound chaser block is actually going to go all the way up to a 99 and then interior defense we're going to put to an 82 which gets you workhorse on hall of fame and then we'll put the rest of this into perimeter defense and then you can either put it into your steal or put it into your offensive rebound right here we'll just go a little bit more o board 
board. So now, with the final badge count, that gets us 17 finishing, 17 shooting, 7 playmaking, and 26 defensive badges. Now, this is the version of the build that I recommend that you use with teammates because you have no ball handle. You're not going to be a primary or secondary or tertiary ball handler. If you're going to use this build and play with randoms, it's going to be tough because you, you're probably just going to be trying to hit step back shots because those are the only things you're going to actually get open off of. So that's this build. And let me show you another build that can actually speed boost like crazy because we unlock the Joel Embiid dribble style, which has a very fast speed boost off of misdirection. All right. So now here is the second version of the build. This is the version that I made. Height 6'11", weight 234 pounds, wingspan 7 foot 7, body shape defined. All of the stats should be pretty much the same as the other version that we made. I'm just going to show you guys everything here. As you can see, the finishing is exactly the same. 93 driving dunk, 75 standing dunk, 80 close shot. Everything's the same there. The shooting is the same. Physicals are all the same. The only difference on this build is now you can actually dribble and speed boost very quickly. As you can see, this build gets a 65 speed with ball, which is what you need to get the Joel and bead dribble style. And then the ball handle is a 70. Pass accuracy is a 70. The 70 ball handle will get you things like the LeBron James size of escape package and the pass accuracy to a 70 will get you some decent passing animations. Physicals, like I said, are the same. And the only difference defensively is your block is no longer a 99, now a 93. So this build, I recommend you use when you're running with randoms because sometimes randoms aren't really the best players and you might need to be able to create your own buckets on your own which is why I upgraded the playmaking a little bit and this is the version that I made because I usually do just run with randoms but not only that but I don't always make the most competitive type of builds I like making builds that are also really fun to use and I think a build that has an 83 three-pointer 93 driving dunk 70 ball handle and can speed boost is a crazy build so we're using that so there's two versions of the takeovers that I recommend that you either use and I I'm the type of person that I really like doubling up on takeovers because it increases your attributes at a much faster rate. So when you have takeover, just a single stage of takeover with sharpshooting take that increases your three pointer by 15. Okay. You go from an 83 three-pointer to a 98 three-pointer as soon as you have takeover. Second version I recommend that you could do is double slashing. Now, the reason that you do double slashing here is for a couple of reasons. One, speed. Like I said last time, when you double up the takeovers, it increases your attributes by a much faster rate. So when you have a single stage of takeover with this version, your speed will go up 15. That means you'll go from that 75 speed to a 90 speed with take. So you're going to be playing absolutely insane on this type of build, being able to move really, really fast. So you can do that. But I ended up going with the double spot up precision. I feel like that's just going to make you an absolutely insane knockdown shooter while also still having every single contact dunk package. So that build is complete. And the build name you get is inside out scorer. All right. So let's talk about animations. All right. Let's take a look at this really quickly. When it comes to the dribbling, I recommend use the Joel B dribble style. Signature size up, I like Giannis Antetokounmpo. Size up escape package, I like LeBron James. Again, this Joel Embiid dribble style gets you an insane speed boost off the misdirection. We'll show you that in a couple seconds here. Moving crossover, either go with LeBron or normal. I'm going to go with LeBron. Moving behind the back is the only one you can get, just the basic version. Moving spin, basic. Moving hesitation, use normal. This, there is a really good, almost a teleportation hesitation move that you can get off the normal moving hezi, which I will show you guys in a second. Moving step back, I use Vince Carter. It's actually very similar to the Luka Doncic moving step back. I'll show you guys that in a second and a very good triple threat style go Michael Jordan and then all of this is good then when it comes to the dribble pull-ups I use Dirk Nowitzki I usually hold right trigger while using that dribble pull-up and then hop jumper this is new this year the Kevin Durant hop jumper is insane I'll show you guys that in a second and then when it comes to the post fades Luka Doncic is what I recommend post hook Joel Embiid and post hop shot Kobe Bryant so now let me show you guys the dunk style that I have so we get all the contact dunks right here when it comes to the one foot moving dunks I'm using windmills cradle dunks reverses so i got the big man reverses the big man baseline reverses quick drops off one athletic one-handers straight arm tomahawks athletic tomahawks off one big man tomahawks switcheroos you get the regular and the rim pull standing dunks and then on the signature dunks you can get Giannis. You can get the Carl Anthony Towns dunk package, which let me see if this animation will pull up right here so I can show you guys what, what we're talking about when it comes to like, you could you could take flight. But that's the one right there. You can get such good dunks with this package. And then coming up here, I use the Dwight Howard dunk package just to get some really good standing dunk animations. And then on this end right here, Blake Griffin is a really good dunk package. LeBron, obviously, as well as Scottie Pippen. The Scottie Pippen dunk package is actually different this year. It's just 6'5 and up. Last year, it was 6'5 to 6'9, so big men could not even get this dunk package. But this year you can it gets you a very easy safe one arm dunk package that also activates with limitless takeoff alley-oops pro elite we're gonna try the zion williamson one i think this will be an interesting one to try this is just gonna be a fun thing and then we also get the pro as well as the elite 
contact alley oops and now let's talk about jump shot jump shot this is the jump shot i'm going to be using on this build it's actually a very very solid jump shot it has a timing impact of a plus which is the most important thing when it comes to a jump shot this year because that is basically telling you how large of a window you have to green the shot so with the timing impact of a plus you have a very large green window on this jump shot and basically the jump shot this year is going to be base joel and b release one dirk Nowitzki, and release two jalen duran all right now i added the jalen duran release just to increase the release speed and as you see the blend here is just a 96 to 4 this is literally the best blend i can do while using the dirt release which is a release that i really really like it gets you a good defensive immunity while also having a decent release speed so yeah that's the jump shot it's a very great jump shot now let's talk about some of these dribble moves really quickly i i i'm giving you guys a little bit of extra stuff right here okay so if you stuck around in this video i'm, I'm gonna give you guys a little, little extra stuff now let's talk about this little teleportation hezzy i was talking about earlier okay now the way that this works is i usually do it off of a snatchback so the way you do a snatchback this year is you have to hold right trigger you flick up on the right stick and you hold back on the left stick so right here this is what that looks like, right? That's the snatchback. Show it one more time. Just like that. Now, what I do off of that, so let's say we're going to do a snatchback here to the left hand, right? Once you do that, you're going to tap left on the right stick and then hold the left stick to the left. So here's the snatchback and then the hezzy. And you get like a nice little like teleportation animation, basically. Here, I'll do it one more time to the right. And it's going to be the exact same thing. You do the snatchback and then you flick the right stick to the right and then hold the left stick to the right. So snatch back and then teleportation. It's a very, very nice move. And then when you do that move here, let me just get my adrenaline boost back. And then when you do that move, there's a couple options you could do. You could just keep running with it. So let me just do that right here. So you can get the teleportation and then just keep running with it and drive to the basket. And that's the Scotty Pippen dunk package right there. That's a very nice, easy, safe dunk package. Or another version you could do is take advantage of that Joel Embiid misdirection speed boost. So right there, you did the Hezzy. And then now you can cross back this way and use that Joel Embiid. And use that Joel Embiid dribble style to your advantage. You can get some insane speed boost off of it. Let me show you that again here. Get some really nice speed boost. You can drive to the lane pretty pretty successfully on this type of build it, it's very fun to use so again I ain't, I ain't gonna show you the jump shot without being able to try, try and time a couple of these so let's just do that really quickly green beam right off the bat okay I swear to god that was first try okay very easy jump shot the moment he flicks his elbow up to where it's like at a 90 degree angle that's when you want to release that thing all right I said Kevin Durant hop jumper very simple very easy to green you know you know what I'm saying it, it, it's it's easy to green once he once he flips his arms all the way back that's when you want to let it go i know that's a hard really bad way to explain it but that's just the way i know it but yeah no, that's what you're looking for with the kd hop jumper another really good one that i like to use it gets a lot of separation especially when you're driving baseline is when you're driving baseline let's say you're driving baseline to the right hand side right you speed boost and then when you get to the right rebound you see where like the lightning bolt is on this court right here what you want to do is you're going to hold the right stick to the left now watch this move this off of the baseline drive is an insane move right here so right here speed boost and then this move right here that move right there i don't know if i timed it right yeah i did okay that move right there you can get so much separation off of and basically all you do is when you're driving baseline you hold your right stick to the left gonna basically give you like a like a snatch back into like a like a step back i don't know how to explain it but it's a very very nice hop jumper that gets a lot of space show it one more time because they're gonna be sitting back they're gonna want to take they're gonna want to sit back and prevent you from being able to drive to the basket so being able to hit that type of hop jumper in that situation is very insane and yes i just went two for two on that and i that actually made me feel really good yeah just like that you can use agent threes on this build if you want you only get it on silver but if you really need to get a bailout shot you can you can you can fade from three if you need to so yeah the vince carter moving step back click back on the right stick and then you can drive to the same side or you can do the misdirection then you can drive back the other way and get some really good dunk packages but I think that's going to be it for today's video, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And again, hope you guys enjoy these builds.